I thought today was a good day to remind you of how strong you are. It takes strength to question your identity. It takes strength to accept yourself fully and authentically. It takes strength to come out and be yourself visibly in the world. It takes strength to navigate the closet until you're ready. Wherever you are on your journey, you're strong. Celebrate that today. I mean, how much time do you have? So let's keep it brief and call attraction a directioned wanting. And there are a bunch of different kinds of attraction. There's sexual attraction, romantic attraction, aesthetic attraction, um, intellectual attraction, emotional attraction. You get the point. So let's say sexual attraction. That is a directioned wanting to have sex with someone. Directioned meaning directed at a person or a kind of person. So heterosexual people, for example, they feel a desire, a wanting to have sex with people of the opposite gender under the construct that gender is only binary. So the attraction is the wanting to have sex directed at a specific kind of person. Hope that helps. First, make sure that coming out is a safe thing to do. If you feel that coming out is going to subject you to physical harm, emotional harm, um, affect your home situation or your financial stability, you don't have to come out. Second, make sure that coming out is something that you are doing for yourself. That's what that process is for. It's not really for other people. So unless you feel that coming out is a thing that you need to do for yourself to live fully and authentically, you don't have to come out. Really plan out what you're going to say. Write it out, practice on someone safe, whatever you got to do. Because you want to make sure that you're communicating exactly the thing you want to communicate to them. And prepare yourself for negative responses. Go through all the scenarios in your head and make sure that you're ready for them, uh, ready to respond to them and experience them. Hope that helps. All right, just a reminder. Your queerness isn't a free pass to be racist. Your queerness isn't a free pass to be misogynistic. It's not a free pass to be ableist. If anything, queerness makes us more responsible to pay attention to these things because we understand along one axis of our identity what marginalization feels like. Real equity for queer people has to include anti-racism, anti-misogyny, anti-ableism. Otherwise, it isn't real equity for all queer people. So my friend Amazon of Cards recently posted a video uh, talking about racism in the Ace and Arrow communities, specifically asking when are we going to have a conversation about racism in the Ace and Arrow communities. And I agree. So first off, um, I'm white. So that is the perspective and the point of view that I'm coming from and uh, the place of privilege that I occupy in this conversation. So some statistics. In 2014, Avon did a study of openly asexual people, and uh, that study found that 75% of the openly asexual community identifies as white, and the rest of racial groups, all other racial groups, only compromised about 25% of our community, open community. Honestly, it's kind of wild. It's a preposterous idea to believe that white people are just naturally more prone to being asexual than every other racial group. So clearly something else has to be going on. And one of those things is how whiteness operates. You know, because whiteness is privileged in our culture as a whole, it means that whiteness is going to be privileged in cultural spaces, like our ace community. So a white person discovering that they're ace or arrow are going to be more welcome in cultural spaces where ace and arrow people are. Uh, They're going to see more of themselves represented. So they'll be able to say like, oh, yeah, so this is clearly my experience in my community because I see myself in it. For everyone who is not white, uh, that is not the case, particularly in the representation area. So if you're not white and you're maybe thinking you might be ace and you look at the community, what you see is not you. 
So it's going to be harder for you to, to say, well, yes, that must be my experience. That must be what I am. Because remember, you got to see it to be it. And yeah, I mean, I'll be straight up. Um, I Whiteness is a big part of why I, as an ace creator, have the number of followers that I have, as opposed to equally good creators who are not white, who don't have the numbers I have. That is whiteness in action. Not saying that my content sucks, but it is certainly easier for me as a white creator. I'm not going to tell you what to do um, because I think our by POC creators should be the ones telling us what to do. But it's certainly something for all of us other white creators and people in the community for us to be thinking about and recognizing our role and place in that system.